Hello there, friends. Welcome to the YouTube channel for the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. My name is Pastor Bill Johnson, and this is another daily episode of We Are the Church. Well, happy Thursday to you, friends. This week has flown by for me. I don't know about you, and uh, here in Southern California, we got a huge dump of snow in the mountains, and it's an absolutely glorious day today. So I hope this finds you well wherever you are in the world. Hope your world is beautiful too. Today, I'm gonna to be reading from Paul's letter to the Galatian churches, and uh, I'll be reading from chapter two, verse 15 through 17. And this is what Paul says. We ourselves are Jews by birth and not Gentile sinners, and yet we know that a person is justified not by the works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. And we have come to believe in Christ Jesus so that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by doing the works of the law, because no one will be justified by the works of the law. Paul has a very complicated relationship with his own past in the Jewish faith and his own expertise in the laws of Moses and, and on all the statutes and ordinances uh, uh, that are, we find in the scripture. Paul understands that in the end, these things only reveal to him his shortcomings. You hold up the law and sooner or later, you forget to keep part of the law and then you're feeling like, uh oh, and now I see that I have a long way to go. But in Christ Jesus, the, our justification before God has been uh, gained for us, not by our own merit, but by through Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. Now, I know there are many people walking in and out the doors of our churches these days and living their lives in this world in such close faith and fellowship with Christ that uh, they take no confidence in their own works and they are people of absolute peace because they have solely trusted in the grace of God and in God's saving power. And so day by day, as they receive Christ's faith in greater and greater measure, they uh, are recognizable because they serve so joyfully, spending their life in Christ with gratitude, with sacrifice, with service toward all. Many of us from time to time, though, get ourselves a little spun up about our insecurities as to whether God may love us. Let's see if this sounds familiar to you. We, uh, we find ourselves losing our temper quickly. We, we uh, put a deep, deep insecurity to work by busying up our calendar, by cluttering up our spirits. We uh, head out the front door in the morning and we're more concerned about avoiding the troublemakers than we are about reaching out to our neighbors and serving them in love. And even if we do find ourselves on a roll for a while, we're hardly thinking about Christ so much as are we checking off the boxes? Are we getting things right? Well, this can lead to a kind of faith that is um, frustrating and harried and leaves us tired. And we're supposed to be at peace. We read about green pastures and still waters, but we're busy from dawn to dusk. And I am as guilty as the rest of us. And here's the thing. To the world that is outside the church, the good works that we are doing when we are in that busy and harried state and we're trying to trust in our own righteousness and our own works, that looks just the same to the outside world as the good works that somebody who is walking hand in hand and in the peace of Christ. The outside world doesn't care about our motives, but for us, it makes a huge difference. It's what is in our heart that really, really counts in the end. Are we working our tails off to try to save ourselves? Or have we given ourselves and our salvation into the hands of God so that we know that as God uses us, we can trust him for our righteousness and we can occupy ourselves with pouring out the love he has given us toward others. Works of the law, works of love, side by side, sitting in the same pews where we sit every Sunday, and sometimes I choose to sit on one side and sometimes I choose on the other. But if we want the peace that passes all understanding, we have to give up this pursuit of finding our own righteousness in the law. That's what Paul said. And instead, put our trust in Christ and then put that faith in Christ to use serving the world through his kingdom. 
Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus. We know when we stop and we really listen that no one can achieve the kingdom of God from our end. It's only because in faithfulness you have reached down to us that we have this life. So we ask, O oh God, now that your spirit would reign in our hearts, driving away our old frustrated and sin nature and bringing us to the place where in gratitude we pour ourselves out every day because you have loved us first. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for stopping by today. A very happy Thursday to you as you get through the rest of this day. I will be out having some Sabbath time tomorrow, but I'll see you again on Saturday. And in fact, I want to remind you, you can find We Are the Church every single Monday through Saturday right here on this YouTube channel. And in the meantime, remember as you're going about your work today to do no harm, do all the good you can, and stay in love with God. I'll see you soon.